Dear friends, today we are going to talk to Mr. Anurag Upadhyay. Anurag has secured All India Rank 113 in UBSC Engineering Services Examination 2025. His score in interview is the highest among civil engineering as well as highest among all branches because this year highest marks in UBSC Engineering Services interview are 160. one candidate from electronics also has secured 160 marks and mr anurag has also secured 160 marks in electrical highest marks are 154 and in mechanical highest marks are 150 so let us discuss today ki what was his preparation strategy inhone kis tarah ke questions inse puche gaye and what areas basically you have to prepare if you will be appearing during the next year of the interview so what areas you can prepare So Anurag first of all congratulations thank you sir Anurag uh, has done his btech from uh, Motilal Nehru National Institute of Technology Allahabad MNIT Allahabad and he has also done MSc in geoinformatics currently he is working in Cochin shipyard as an executive engineer and his father is an IPS and he is DG uh, prison in Kerala and anurag is focused for the engineering service and now maybe preparing for the civil service also this is what i anticipate so anurag what was your strategy for the upsc interview because you have scored the highest marks in civil engineering as well as it is the highest of the all branches also sir my interview strategy for my personal basis was to go very aggressively on the def the detailed application form which we give and my intention was to fill in so many things in the def mm. that the interviewer cannot escape without asking questions from the def mm. and my hobbies and the sections that i have mentioned in my def overall not mm. only just the hobbies but throughout the def mm. they are in such a manner that the interviewer cannot resist from asking why this is or what what does this mean and how does this happen mm. so the first part dear friends is filling the def because that becomes your basis for interview at time when you fill the application form that is the first stage when you have to fill def very carefully aur is bar to aapka def pehle hi bharwa liya gaya tha it was before the prelims examination however they gave an opportunity for the amendment but filling to pehle hi ho jati hai so when you fill the application form that time you have to take the precaution तो अनुराग आपके केस में जब इंटरव्यू स्टार्ट हुआ व्हाट वाज द बिगिनिंग हाउ इट इज स्टार्टेड सर दे स्टार्टेड माय इंटरव्यू बाय हैविंग अ लुक एट माय प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ एंड व्हिच इज मध्य प्रदेश एंड दे डिस्कस्ड अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द सिटीज इन मध्य प्रदेश आफ्टर दैट दे सॉ वेयर आई डिड माय क्लास 10th फ्रॉम एंड देन दे आस्क्ड हाउ आई रीच देयर व्हाट Uh, they started comparing the place where i did my class 10th to a uh, present city that is cochin where i am living mm. so they started comparing those that is how they started the interview good so they started from the home place then coming to the place where you are working yes sir what was the discussion on the def how many areas can you share few questions which were asked so uh, i they first they asked where i did my education from that is class 10th Mm. and after that uh, they they asked why i have uh, several education criteria edu- educational things in my def mm. because sir i have three post graduations uh, instead of just one mm. and after that uh, they asked about cochin city in general they asked about cochin city and focused on the engineering projects within kerala mm. that is the idikki dam which is a curved dam the only one in india and then the silver line project which was very much hot topic in the news mm-hmm. and uh, the the cochin city where i live it is a prime example of multimodal transport mm-hmm. so we had a discussion on multimodal transport and uh, first mile last mile connectivity those things mm-hmm. and uh, then they came to my masters thesis my research publications mm-hmm. sir i have been a researcher for about 4 to 5 years in intelligent transport systems on that and then they came to my work profile uh, what i did there and uh, what i did in uh, my psu where i work and uh, some basic civil engineering questions and that was all so 
what i infer from your discussion that it was more focused to your def entries which you have already filled and the areas where you are working so your job experience and few questions of the application of your engineering so dear friends if you are a working candidate then your work experience becomes important but the information of dab become very important so in dab i find the hobby section you have mentions analyzing public data for intelligence insights fitness and body weight management and you also run a telegram channel so they asked related to your hobbies yes sir they did and uh, more specifically they asked on my drone hobby where i built an it alabad first drone way back in 2018 and we discussed on the characteristics of the drone which i built its endurance its payload its sensor load out and uh, different things mm-hmm. and uh, the competition that i organized the national aerial robotics championship in the tech fest of our college and uh, regarding physical fitness they did not ask much Mm-hmm. uh however uh, for the public data and intelligence insights that is usually we call it open source intelligence mm-hmm. they just asked what does it mean and what kind of work have i done on that uh that was more on strategic assets basically okay what uh, factors you see behind the highest score you have achieved aapko kya lagta hai ki in interview what was the best could you guess at the time of interview ya interview ke baad ki mujhe itne marks milne wale hain sir my interview was almost reaching perfection sir and mm. when in the interview itself i understood that i have done very well mm. and i expected a top score of somewhere about 140 145 which mm. was uh, i think until last year the top score was 150 right. so we never assume ourselves as the topper until unless we get it on record so right. i took it as 140 145 somewhere in that range mm. but 160 is a very pleasant surprise to me too Uh, this year the score beyond 150 is rare because uh, har bar to 150 ke niche hi rehta tha highest score so this year we are observing two scores of 160 one in your case one in the electronics and electronics mein jis candidate ka 160 score hai manvendra he also happens to be made a student of uh, foundation course he is a physically challenged candidate but he is extremely good and he has done extremely well and uh, the candidate is also very bright so anurag uh, interview is a very different story when it comes to written examination your concepts matter but when it comes to the interview your articulation your presentation your skills matter so what areas you uh, what sources you followed for preparation or preparation mein jo cheeze aapne padhi unme se kis depth tak padhi sir as i said in the starting that i went very aggressive on my daf Mm-hmm. so the depth which i went into was very very deep mm-hmm. because i uh, i first i started with the scratch you always scratch the surface first right so i went with the wikipedia on all the words that i have written in my def mm-hmm. all the words in wikipedia whatever so you store kiya unko sabko you all, i took print out of it took a spiral binding of it read it cover to cover highlighted it mm-hmm. and then i recalled the short points from it Mm-hmm. so that was the first step wikipedia is the surface to go to especially for the locations mm-hmm. the place where you have done your 10th your college and other cities that you have lived and since uh, i have been moving cities very frequently so i had to cover a lot mm-hmm. and after that i went specifically for the hobbies mm-hmm. for hobbies i actually found the preparation very joyful because as you know sir during the prelims and mains prep we have to focus very much on the academic side of things Mm-hmm. however for the interview i was able to pursue my hobbies personally and mm-hmm. i enjoyed doing all of them so i even did courses for open source intelligence i went and took lectures other places i mean i have explored it fully mm-hmm. then uh, after that i came to the btech and the masters that is the education that we have mm-hmm. so i focused on my btech btech project that is very essential Mm. and along with that i followed the medz lectures which were given by the interview guidance program mm. and i revised my own notes from prelims because sometimes they may ask very core technical questions so prelims yeah. is helpful there mm. and for the subjects i focused on four subjects mm. rather than going for a whole civil engineering point of view mm. since my interview i had to keep it aggressive on daf so i could not go very deep into the civil engineering so i limited myself to four subjects uh, that is gis 
geo foundation engineering right uh, and rcc in these i go very specific when they ask if they ask ki hmm. what subject do you like i will specifically mention sir deep foundation rather they than ask, geo tech no sir they ask about the ki which subjects you like normally no, it's a rare question yes sir it is rare but uh, some of my friends who gave the interview before me they uh, they had the similar experience that they were asked or at least they were able to guide which subject they should go for okay and after that they were they were able to uh, guide that which subject we want to go mm-hmm. so i did not go very deep into engineering i just prepared four subjects very specific say mm-hmm. deep foundation rather than the entire geotechnical engineering Okay. and it actually worked because in my interview it was entirely on daf and very limited on the engineering and for the higher education we have to focus very much on the thesis that we have done the project work that we have done and for uh, other post graduations that i have done i focused a generic overview of the subject which mm-hmm. was asked in detail by the uh, by the respected panel members okay so do you think that the uh, multiple mm, studies which you have done means masters courses you have done they help you in, in scoring high, higher marks yes sir because it shows that i am an academically inclined person and i am also multifaceted because along with work i am able to not only prepare for the exam but also pursue higher education so that way it shows that i am a multitasker at hand and also they have more avenues to open up a conversation on okay so what area you suggest to students those who will be appearing in the upcoming upsc interviews to prepare sir in terms of uh, post graduation we are speaking no 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 in general those students who will be appearing next year what areas you suggest and what strategy you suggest for them to follow for the interview preparation so for this i want the so the interview preparation is a journey of introspection basically mm. so the person has to ha- ask himself or herself that what strategy am i going to follow there are two ways basically first is you go the aggressive daf way which i have done you feel so much ki they have to ask from it and you keep it so interesting that they cannot avoid it whereas the second way to go about which has also secured very high marks i know two people who have scored 146 with this strategy is that they go very less on the daf yeah. they will just write very simple words generic words organizer of tech fest 100 meter sprint in college very general things yeah, right. this is very generic very generic and then they wait uh, for the interviewer to come on to the technical side of things yeah. or to their work experience you draw the person towards where your expertise lays correct my expertise was laying in my higher education my work experience mm-hmm. rather than going to the core btech and rcc steel and those things which although i am good at in prelims and mains thanks to the rank attesting to that however my interview i was not very confident ki i will be able to answer in that kind of depth the reasoning and those things so i went the other way so once you decide your way then you research deeper into that right okay in technical uh, from engineering part what type of questions were asked sir i was asked three questions uh, from engineering core engineering one was what is the difference between canal and uh, channel okay another one was uh, what is the impact of fire on a rcc building or a rcc structure mm-hmm. what happens if we impact fire on it mm-hmm. and a third question was uh was also a question of difference i am not recalling which two terms but similar terms they asked something about permeability of the soil intrinsic permeability and normal permeability okay and any questions from current affairs they asked sir so the structures like the silver line project that was current affairs hmm. other than that there was no current affairs as such they were very interested on my dad it was dad home state home places coming to the hobbies uh, your higher education your job and yes. the keywords filled in this any questions related to the preference order of no, no sir they were they were very uh, short of time actually the interview extended so they could not ask um, how long your interview lasted so my interview was about 27 minutes 27 minutes 
it was um, usually more than the average so actually after 20 usually the time is 20 minutes for most of the candidates whom i know uh, mine got finished at about 22 and all the panel members that is 1 plus 4 uh, upsc honorable member and three other panel members are there mm-hmm. so once by approximately 22 minutes uh, everyone said thank you all the three members after asking their questions and i stood up and i was about to leave i turned to the right and i was about to leave and then the honorable upsc member asked me to sit down again and then he referred to a previous conversation that i was having with another member Mm-hmm. and then we continued on that so that costed us another 4 or 5 yeah, minutes 4 5 minutes okay right and and that i believe finally converted into your highest score <laughs> indeed so it was a mix of current affairs and not current affairs contemporary affairs and technical and uh, my work and it was very wide spanning those 5 minutes very good and uh, nice interacting anurag and i wish you all the best and a happy new year and many many congratulations and wish you all the best for the upcoming journey which you are going to start thank you very much for joining the uh, discussion on the top stock and dear friends this was the discussion with mr anurag upadhyay he has secured all, all india rank 113 this year in engineering services 2025 and he is the highest scorer in the personality test interview 160 out of the 200 marks this is the highest of esc 2025 in all branches and one more candidate has secured the same score in electronics thank you anurag thank you sir